Hi there, Sam here and welcome to another video in the Creating Your Project series. In this video we'll run through how you can add a search engine to your project. To get started, all I need to do is click settings here at the top of the screen. Authoritas offers a high level of customization, and it is here where we can control different options for the project. We'll look at some of these in more detail in other videos, but for now I'm going to focus on the rank config setting which is a third from the bottom here. The view here will show you all of the search engines or ranking configurations that have been created for the project. Right now I just have Google Desktop UK set up and I want to create a second rank config for Google Mobile. So I'm going to choose add new config which will give me this pop up and it is here where I'll define the rank config I wish to add. First thing is to give it a name and we always recommend using the name of the search engine, device and country name to make it easier for reporting purposes. Next up is country and I can choose from a list of more than 100 here and each has full language support including those with unique scripts such as Russian, Korean and Chinese. For this demo I'm going to use United Kingdom which will automatically set my language to English. Here under search engine I can choose my provider. In addition to Google we support Bing and Yahoo as well as country specific engines Yandex, Naver and Baidu which we can switch on for you as necessary. With that set, I can move on to config type with a choice between true rank and pure rank. Put simply, if I want to be able to see where universal results such as videos, images and snippets are appearing in the SERP, then I would choose a true configuration, whereas if I'm only interested in the traditional organic results, then I could choose a pure configuration. This checkbox here determines whether this configuration will be mobile or not. Of course, I want this option to be switched on, as I want to track mobile ranking positions in this example. One feature of Authoritas is the ability to refine the ranking configuration down to specific places, and I can even go down to a postal or zip code level. This means if I was interested in getting the ranking data for London, all I'd need to do is enter the city here, and then this configuration is going to return the ranking data from that city. All that's left are tags. How to add, change and draw down into tags on Authoritas is covered in another video. But for now, just know that keywords can belong to multiple tag groups and it's a great way to segment data. If I go ahead and add a tag here, then this ranking configuration is only going to be applied to the keywords in that tag group, making it a great way to control data consumption. On that point, it's worth noting how rank credits work on Authoritas. A rank credit represents one keyword checked once against one search engine. So if I have 100 keywords that are checked once a week for both Google Desktop and Mobile, I can expect that to use around 800 rank credits a month. Hitting save is going to add this config to my list, as you can see here. Search engines can be paused and restarted at will, as well as deleting them from the account altogether, all of which is controlled by the options in this ribbon. And that's it. Be sure to check out step 3, adding competitors next, as well as the other videos in this series to help get your project up and running quickly and effectively. To learn more or to ask any questions, feel free to reach out using the details provided at the end of this video. See you!